Hello everyone, uh, this is a very interesting problem from Pre-Regional Math Olympiad 2019. It's a problem 27 from there. And it says that if we have the word BHA RAT Bharat, how many ways can we rearrange this word such that none of the letters is in their original position? So I'll give you one example. Suppose this is the these are the six slots. B cannot be in the first position. Maybe B is in the second one. H cannot be in the second position. Maybe H is here. A cannot be in the third position. So maybe A is here. R cannot be in the fourth position. Maybe R is here. A cannot be in the fifth position. So maybe A is here. But then we are stalemate because we have to put T in the last position, which is not allowed. So we will change a little bit. We will put this A in the last position and T somewhere here. So this is a derangement. This is the, there is a technical term for this kind of a thing. Derangement. In some sense, you can think that this is not only permuting the letters, it's jumbling it up completely. So it's none of them is in its original position. And uh, there is a general result which is easily available in most uh, nice combinatorics books. And that number of derangement has this fancy formula. It's n factorial divided by E is the Euler number or Euler number is approximately 2.71. But that is for derangement where everything is distinct. Here that's not the case. Here the letter A is repeating twice. So we have to be very careful here. In fact, we, we will not use the idea of derangement or inclusion exclusion principle. What we will do is we will use a simple and a silly uh, method uh, where um, we will use uh, sort of a brute force combinatorial technique is that will work only because this is a small word if it's a larger word we have to actually talk about inclusion exclusion principle so let's get started um, first thing first let's draw the slots one two three four five six and these are the two slots the third and the fifth one where the repeated letter is present. So the first question is where can these two A's go? The two A's that, that has the, which have repeated. Uh, so it can go to any of the other four slots. Any of the other four slots. So we have to choose two of those other four slots and we will put the A's there. So let's do it by four choose two ways. This is choose two of four slots where the A will go. Okay, all right. So now what we will do is we will understand we will divide the remaining four letters into two groups, the good ones and the bad ones. I'll explain what I'm saying. So for the sake of understanding, let's take a particular case. Suppose the A's have gone to this position and maybe this position, the second position and the last one. Okay. So the two H, two letters H and T, we will call them good maybe good one and good two. Why? Well, <laughs> we have to just name something. Um, we are naming them good. Maybe they have left the space for their friends. So, okay. So let's call them good. And the remaining two, B and R, let's call them bad one and bad two. All right. So now we have two bad letters and two good letters and have to decide how are they getting distributed all right so let's focus 
on the good letters. Let's delete some of the stuff from here. Okay. So the question is where is bad one, which is in this case B, going? That's the first question that we will ask. And that will complete the entire problem. So there will be exactly two cases. Let's do those two cases. The first case is it may go to one of these two positions, one of these two positions where the A's were present. So case one. Bad one may go to one of the A's place. Okay. All right. So let's draw the slots one more time so that we understand exactly what's going on. What is the condition? What is the situation now? The situation is the A's are here because A's have replaced H and A's and T. So A's are here. And now I'm saying that the bad one, let's say B in this particular example, is going to one of the A's position. So maybe the bad one is going here. Now let's look at bad two. Let's look at bad two. So there are two choices where it can go, right? Bad one. So bad one has two choices, really. And that's either the third or the fifth, the places where A were. Now corresponding to that, bad two has two choices again. Why? You see, the reason is this bad 2 cannot go here why not because it was there originally so this place is in some sense occupied it cannot use that space so it has only two options first one and the third one so in this example so corresponding to where the bad one is going bad 2 has exactly two choices all right and we are left with the good ones h and t h and t and they can go wherever you want. They can go wherever you want. So, so there are two factorial ways you can put them. So, two factorial ways of putting the remaining. So, putting good one and good two in the two slots. In two slots. So, after you put bad two. You have two slots left so you can put them in whatever way we want so so the situation is this so we have a case one so bad one has two choices corresponding to that bad two has two choices corresponding to that good one and good two can be put in two factorial ways okay this is four choose two times this happening okay because 4 choose 2 is the initial situation, it's initial case by which you can put the 4 choose 2 was the way in which you could put the A's into one of two of the two of the four places available. So 4 choose 2 times this. Alright. So now let's talk about case 2. Let's talk about case 2. What is case 2? So bad one does not go to same one or the let's call it A's positions. Okay, so now what's the situation? It's not going to the A's position. That's great. So we have, let me draw the picture one more time. So the, the six slots and what is the situation now? The situation is we have A in the second and the last position. Okay. 
and bad one is not going to the third or fifth position so it's not going to these two places one of these two places because that case we have taken care of we have taken care of the case where the bad one was going to the A's initial position that's done all right so now bad one has two choices one of these two choices so two but really it could go it could not have gone to its original position so it's the first place is actually not available so it's it could not have gone to its original position so there is only one place it could go and that's the bad twos position so really this is the case where bad one goes to bad twos position okay so it goes to the bad twos position very nice so bad one goes to the bad twos position now we are left with three letters good one good two and bad two left with three letters good one good two and bad two and really all the three letters can be put in any in any way in the three slots and that's three factorial ways so three factorial ways that's six so we have four choose two times this was the first case 2 times 2 times 2 factorial and now we have the second case which is 3 factorial so this is the final value 4 choose 2 is 6 and this is 8 plus 6 which is 14 so the final answer is 84 okay uh, this is a bad way of doing this problem I must admit you should be doing it with inclusion exclusion principle but the viewers of this particular video who are appearing for pre-regional pre mathematics, mathematics olympiad they may not know inclusion exclusion principle that's why I, I, I usually try to avoid any type of advanced tools mm, but uh, once you know inclusion exclusion principle uh, you can do this in a much more streamlined manner look up derangement online it's a fun topic to study about and there are excellent stuff going on there. So, all right, see you in the next video and keep on doing great mathematics. Uh, all the best.